So this video is going to be a continuation of my video, Winning with Annuities. And I truly believe that you can win with annuities, especially these new, uh, more advanced annuities. I know that they're hard to find, um, and you typically have to have access to somebody, um, but we can help you with that. Uh, but these uncapped strategies are really, really powerful. It's as close to playing the market without playing the risk as I've found in my life. And so I did have a few questions come in, specifically the, the uh, green marker area. And so I just wanted to take a couple of minutes to clarify that for the doctor that uh, asked me. So the uncapped strategy in fi fixed indexed annuities, you're, you're riding the ups and downs of uh, an index. Could be the Dow Jones, it could be the most popular is the S&P 500. Uh, insurance companies have come up with their own unique blend, almost like a mutual fund, uh, but it does track indexes that you can monitor online. But they, they have a cap restriction. So uh, a, a common cap is 4%. So if the market goes up 3%, you get 3%. If it goes up 5%, you get 4 If it goes up, you know, almost 13%, you still only get 4 So uh, yes, it's good at protecting the downside, but it, 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 it puts a ceiling on what you can earn. And so with the uncapped strategy, uh, you know, if the market is up 14.16, then you get the 14.16. There may be a spread or, or some costs, so just make sure whoever you decide to work with uh, is open and divulges that information. But in most cases, there's little to no fees, uh, and you still get that upside potential. Again, it's because there's not many companies that offer these uncapped strategies. Uh, the upside potential. So again, uh, you, you want to have a balance between how much risk your money is taking and uh, the upside potential. So for example, way too many people are directly involved in the stock market, in my opinion. Uh, but a lot of that has to do with... Uh, banks just are paying nothing. Like I have money at the largest credit union here in Utah and it pays me one-tenth of 1%, one percent, so 0.1. I mean, it's really pathetic. And so if I'm really trying to build a, a future retirement plan, then I go, okay, I have to leave the realm of safety and, and move over to the, the realm of risk, but there's potential to lose my money, right? And, and so this gives you that upside potential. You get to participate with, with what the market does. Uh, you know, over 5%, over 14, over three, over six, over three, over 12. Uh, here, here's that downside protection, right? If the market goes down, you're, you're protected. Um, a, a doctor client of mine down in Texas asked me, okay, if I give you half a million dollars and the market tanks the next day, what happens? I say, well, you've got five, you know, you've got half a million dollars still. He's like, okay, so I'm not like going to buy into Tesla and then it drops because their windshield shatters or something. It's like, uh, no, that, that's the whole point of the downside protection. So when the market dips, you don't participate in that. Uh, you just wait for your anniversary date. It locks in as a zero and then you start earning again so long as the market comes back. Uh, but if not, you're just going to get credited. And that's the other thing. I, I talked about this a little bit is each year, imagine like, you know, you, you cover that risk. So now your gain is locked in and your principal that's always been protected continues to be protected. And so you just, you, you ride that up. Uh, the worst that would have happened with this would have been in 2000, 2001, and 2002, where there were three years of double digit losses. But... Would you rather have three years of back-to-back -back double digit losses or three years of no growth on your money? Okay, there's no uh, trying to make up for lost ground. There's no trying to get back to break even. You're already at break even where the rest of the world that's in the stock market directly, they're trying to dig out of a, a serious loss, okay? So that, that's the power of that downside protection. Um, and as you can see, you'll get that growth. Now, what will this do over the next five, 10 years? I don't know, but I believe in the American economy. And what's neat about this is most programs, they reset every year. So you're only ever 12 months away from getting back going again, right? So like if, if in the 11th month, this thing drops, then fine, you got a zero, but then you're one month away from your anniversary and you get to ride that back up. 
If it tanks in the first month, you're only 11 months away. I hope that makes sense. So anyway, uh, you know, if you have any questions, put a, put a comment below. Otherwise, uh, make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell so that you're uh, alerted to future videos. If I can help in any way, please reach out to me at Stephen, with a P-H, at yourbridgeplan.com. Otherwise, thanks for checking out today's continuation video.